Now, the Minister for National Security, Kandapa, is calling on civil society organizations to hold government institutions, especially his ministry, to account for the actions. Speaking at a workshop with CSOs on the National Security Strategy document, he explained government can work effectively if CSOs play their role. It is also recognized that these accountability institutions set up by the constitution, set up by the laws, which we refer to as the horizontal accountability institutions, most of them basically lack what it takes to hold the government to account, and that is independence. If you want to hold the government to account, what you really need is independent, which is why my wife cannot audit me, because she hasn't got that independence. If she writes a bad report, it will reflect in the, in the, in the top money. So she, of course, will naturally advise herself. So this is also a challenge, even in the advanced countries. And what has been the solution? The solution has been to find other accountability institutions that will not have that problem of lack of pure independence. And in these countries, they rely on the media. But much more than that, they rely on civil society. Because civil society, by definition, are normally uh, independent. Because civil society, by definition, normally have people who are really experts in the areas that they talk about. So colleagues, that is how important civil society is going forward. If governance is going to be good, it will depend upon the extent to which civil society will play that role of holding governments to account.